Good morning. This is Laura Connolly, GFWC Florida Communications and Public Relations Chairman. And today we are going to take a look at how to enter the member portal on gfwc.org. When you go to their main webpage, gfwc.org, in the upper right hand corner, you will click on the box that says member login. From there, if you have not already created a login, you will scroll down and down at the bottom, you will click where it says sign up. I already have a login, so I'm going to enter my email address and my password and click on login. Once I do, I am now inside GFWC's member suite where I can do a number of things. You can see in the menu bar here, there are several things that you can choose from. Let's take a look at events. When we click on browse events, you can see some of the upcoming events that are eligible for registration. For example, this webinar. If you click on the webinar, we can see it's actually going to take place tomorrow, so it's closed. If it were not so close to the date, the registration button would be right here. And that's how you sign up. In the marketplace, you can browse the store. For any variety of items, you can actually, we're looking at all the categories right now, you can actually refine your list and choose from the drop down if you wanted to just look, for example, at accessories, you would click on that and here would be the accessories, you could click on each one and see the details, put them in your shopping cart and check out if you'd like. Of course, you can make a donation this way as well. And up in the upper right hand corner where you see the little profile picture, or in my case, I don't have a photo loaded, so you just see the little outline of a person. If you click on that, go to my digital library. This is where many, many resources are stored. And when you go there, you'll see the resources tab right here. And when you click on that, all of their resources are actually stored in alphabetical order. It's usually best to scroll down to the bottom where it says items per page, we're going to change that to 50 so we can see everything all at once. And for example, if I wanted to look at the affiliate information, I would click on A. And inside A, I would see all of the various things that start with the letter A, including the files for our affiliate organizations. I can click on any one of these items. Let's say I want to look at the uh, March of Dimes engagement toolkit, and you can see it has downloaded to my computer down there. When I go back up to the top here, if I don't want to look at A anymore, I can back myself out of that by clicking on resources. And let's say I want to look at the GFWC club manual. I'll click on C for club manual. And here I will find 37 different files that are part of the club manual. For example, if I wanted the entire club manual in one PDF, I would click there and it downloads the entire club manual for me. If I wanted to back out of there, again, just scroll back up here and go back to club manual. And you can see, for example, maybe I want to look at the CSPs and special programs. So I would click on that and here is a list of all of those items. Here, for example, is the health and wellness PDF, which I'm going to click on it so you can see it's actually the section right from the club manual. So this is a great way for us to be able to download information that we need from GFWC's member center. And again, it is now behind the password so that it's protected and only GFWC club women can join. If I go back to my digital library, and back into resources, you can see here, I've got to make it 50 again. You can see here that you can click on any letter of the alphabet and it tells you how many different files are in there. So if you can't find something, you may be looking in the wrong area. For example, you might've looked under M for manual and it's really under C for club manual. So by expanding your search to see all 50 items at once, you can get the whole alphabet. And for example, under L, we can see there are 71 files. That's kind of interesting. And when we go in there, we see that many, many of those files are in the leadership toolkit, 39 files to be exact. So when we click on that, here it tells us all of the different items. We can click and download those and save those to our computer. So the resources section is really a very robust section inside this member suite. You can do other things up here in the top right-hand corner. You can take a look at your profile, change your password or your username or log out. 
So with that, if you have any questions, you can certainly contact me at communications at gfwcflorida.org. If you have uh, trouble accessing uh, the GFWC member suite, it's best to give them a call or email them at gfwc at gfwc.org. I hope that helps. Have a great day.